When Richard Egar toured with the ACO in 2012, audiences fell in love with his intelligent and irreverent style of music making. Bristling with energy, he brings new life to forgotten gems. He returns for the orchestra's 40th birthday season with a program of Baroque and classical works by Purcell, Laws, Bach and Haydn. Hearing this music played on the ACO's Golden Age instruments will almost be like travelling back in time. Last time Richard Egar was with us in 2012, if I remember correctly, and, and it was a huge success. It's always interesting to um, introduce a new leader, a new kind of new personality. With Richard, it was, it was an instant hit and understanding, and, and we had an amazing, amazing time on, on that tour. I remember coming away from that tour, just learned a lot. I guess that's one of the good sides about the ACO way of working, that, that um, we maybe don't get as, much, as many guests as, as a symphony orchestra would, would get different conductor every week but uh, but when we do get a guest artist like Richard we get to spend a lot of time with him and learn and grow together during the tour. The beef in this program I guess is the Haydn works in the second half so we have one of the most famous symphonies one of the most celebrated symphonies number 44 excellent example of, of the Sturm und Drang period it'll be definitely quite a ride. Also in the program the Bach A minor violin concerto um, I'm sure everyone knows knows the piece, you know, one of the one of the greatest concertos. And of course the Bach is featuring Satu on the Strad violin. Also in the program we have the Laws Fantasy and the Purcell Suite from the Fairy Queen. We're touring this fantastic program with Richard Egar in June next year. I'm very much looking forward to it. Don't miss this amazing opportunity to hear the master of historically informed performance lead the ACO across the country in June. <laughs>